Good morning guys, it's 7.20 and I finally am getting around to pour my coffee and eat something. I've been finishing up another video while the girls play and they just ate breakfast themselves so now it's finally time for me to eat. For breakfast I'm having some yogurt. This is the Trader Joe's Greek yogurt, the non-fat plain and I get that all the time. So I put that in here with some leftover banana that the girls had. And then this is my new favorite granola from Trader Joe's. It's the organic toasted coconut granola. It's so delicious. And then I have some coffee with a little bit of the silk coconut milk and it's the original kind. And then if you guys are wondering what the girls had, I give them a little bit of this mixed with some pureed bananas. They didn't eat that much of it so I just put it in the fridge and save it for lunch. They had about a half a banana, some blueberries, they're so loud right now. They had, they shared a thing of yogurt and some Cheerios, so that was their breakfast. And I got my Blue Apron box in the mail yesterday, so I'm going to insert a clip right now and show you guys what I got. So here's my Blue Apron box, it just came in the mail and it is pouring rain out there right now. And we just got stuck in it, I was loading the girls in the car. We went to CVS and it was just downpour. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to show you what the, I got in my box before I put it in the fridge. So the first is actually they have these Whole30 recipes now, which is perfect for, oh my god, the rain. I'm sorry, I'm just so obsessed with rain. We never get it, so this is like such a treat. Ah, yes. They came out with a bunch of new Whole30 recipes, which are perfect for the new year if you guys are trying to set some New Year's resolutions of being healthier. So this one looked delicious, the chicken lettuce wraps. I love red lettuce wraps. Andrew always makes fun of me because I get them wherever we go and he's like, come on, get something different. So I'm gonna make these when I film the video, which will be tomorrow, I will definitely make these. All right, they're eating lunch over there. Watching the rain, woo, look outside guys. Wow. I also chose this ginger marinated grass fed steak. I'm really liking steak these days. And the third recipe is a seared chicken and mashed potatoes. So for those of you guys who are new to my channel, Blue Apron is a delivery service that delivers your meals straight to your door. It's all farm fresh ingredients. You get to choose your meals, which I really like. You can skip a week if you don't want it delivered that week. It's fully up to you. And I love all the ingredients. They're all just really high quality. Let me open this up for you. So thank you to Blue Apron for sponsoring this video. They offered the first 50 of you who use the link in my description box. If you sign up with that, then you will get $40 off your first two orders with Blue Apron on their new Whole30 meals. They actually partnered with Whole30, so there's gonna be eight weeks that have Whole30 specific recipes. I actually think it's a really cool thing. It's, so it's like a 30 day program and it's designed to help people figure out how the food they've been eating affects how they feel and look. So it's just based around eating whole nutrient dense foods. It's not a quick fix or weight loss plan or anything. You're not counting calories. It's just a 30 day experiment. It's not meant to follow forever. So if you guys are interested, definitely check it out. I think this is a great thing to do, especially in the beginning of the new year to really motivate you to eat well. And I think it's all about a lifestyle change. It's nine o'clock and the girls are having their second breakfast of the day. <laughs> they have some cheese, some bread and cereal and I gave them a little bit more of their oatmeal with bananas you guys always hungry always hungry huh eat up they have their year checkup today yeah that looks delicious Don't feed all your food to Kyla. She gets enough. No, June. That's for you. And I'm having my second cup of coffee for the day. My little Pike Place Market mug that I got when we lived in Seattle, which I miss all the time. It rained so much here yesterday. It's 
nice and wet outside right now, but oh man, the rain just makes me miss Seattle so much. So it's 12.30 and I've been doing a little bit of cooking. I cooked up some of this Annie's, it's the cheddar shells pasta. Made that for the girls and then I stuck some peas in there to give them a little something else. So I'm gonna give that to them in a little bit. June is awake. She's down there drinking her bottle. Also started prepping the ingredients for the lettuce cups. I'm gonna make this for my mom and I because she's coming over in a little bit and is gonna take the girls with me to the doctor. So I love how this has pictures because it kind of just makes everything a lot easier. I have the mushrooms over there, onion. And then I'm using this for the carrots and the radishes. And I, I think you kind of just put it all in a, a pan together and then you add the chicken. So it looks so good and I'm getting hungry. Okay, Violet's awake now. These girls slept for two hours. So awesome. I'm cooking the chicken. Well, first I cooked the mushrooms, garlic, and onion in here. Well, I cooked it in there and then I just transferred it to this bowl. I'm cooking the chicken with the sesame oil and the seasoning that it comes with. And basically you just assemble it. Okay, I assembled them and they look so good. I have the chicken, then the mushroom and onions, radishes and, and uh, carrots, a little bit of lime. So let me try them out and I'll let you know how they taste. It's super good. I know my mom's gonna really like it too. My mom is also gluten free. She is super duper healthy. So this is right up her alley. Do you like it? Is that so yummy for you to eat? June loves peas. What do you think, Violet? She's getting a little bit more picky with her food these days. But I like this because I don't have to cut anything up. <laughs> I feel like I spend so much time cutting up their food. So this is really nice for a change. Oh, nice. Yeah. More? June just did the sign for more. You want more? You got some on your plate still. More? More! <laughs> All right guys, it's already four o'clock. The girls are down for a nap. We went to the doctor. I'm showing you all this stuff because I went to Marshall's and I got back. My mom stayed for a little bit and I left the house by myself for a while. June is still kind of making noises in there. I'm hoping she goes to sleep for a little bit at least. But I figured I'd show you what I got at Marshall's because I feel like I got some good stuff. This I got at the checkout because I was super hungry when I was there and that's not ever a good thing to do when you're shopping. I got some Kind Bars. These were $2.39. These I love, the gluten-free bars. I've only tried the oatmeal one, but I like this one more. I already had one of them in the car, but they're so delicious. Really good protein, fiber, so look for those. I got one of these to keep the girls' snacks in. It's just one of these OXO um, containers. We have these for sugar, and I really like them, so I figured this would be good to keep their snacks nice and fresh. And I also got some of these Pyrex glass ones because Andrew uses these to take his lunch to work, and they're great to have. I also got some soap. This is one of my favorite soaps from Avalon Organics. This is the rosemary kind. I think the last one I had was lavender. And then I got the deep steep rose water and aloe hand wash, which looked pretty. And I got some of the Orchard Valley dark chocolate almonds. They have a lot of really good uh, trail mix packs at Marshall's all the time. I got a new pan because ours are really scratched up. So I like this one, how it has this curve to it. And it also has a lid, which is really nice. This cost $39.99 and it was originally $60. And the last thing I got was just a cutting board because I always need new cutting boards. I feel like we're, we have like a really thick butcher's block one, but I never use it because it's really heavy. And then I just have a couple plastic ones, which clearly we use a lot because they are all dirty. So I figured I'd get a new one of these and that's everything I got. A little mini Marshalls haul for you. It is 6.25 and I'm making some dinner. Andrew's actually eating the leftover lettuce cups. My mom has some too, she really liked them. What are you doing? 
now is the time of day when they start to freak out. So, 6.30. Yeah, and I gotta give them a bath. Okay, so what we like to do once a night is to do an easy meal. This is just Cherokee chicken from Albertsons. Obviously, this is not the most healthy thing, but I do like to make it my own. And then I also like to get the Cherokee chicken from Trader Joe's. So I put it in a pan first with olive oil and I let it thaw out before I put any sauce on it. And I also am going to add the leftover carrots from today's lunch. This is the rice that I got from Trader Joe's, the organic jasmine rice. I switch off between this and the brown rice. And then I throw in some frozen peas and an egg. So I'll show you once it's all kind of done, I crack an egg in the middle. So it's kind of like a little fried egg. Okay, after the chicken is thawed out and getting a little bit more brown, I add in the sauce and let that thicken up. Okay, I put some yellow bell peppers in here. I have the peas, carrots. I did a little bit of this minced garlic from Albertsons and a little bit of ground ginger, which kind of gives it that Asian flavor that I really like. I also did ground pepper, but no salt because sauces that come in the chicken like this are super salty as it is, so it doesn't need it. And then I moved everything around. So there's a little space in the center. Cracked my egg, and then I just kind of let this cook. And I don't even know if this is technically how you do this, but this is what my mom used to do, and it works. <laughs> Once it's cooked, then I just mix it with the rest. Let it sit for a little bit so it gets crispy, and then it's done. Okay, here it is all done. Looks so good, and Andrew is so impressed with my frozen dinner. Girls are freshly bathed, playing. Almost time for bed. I'm gonna try not to eat anything else tonight, but if I do, I'll let you know. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to sign up for Blue Apron, I will have a link down below for you. And I will see you all in my next video.